Got a pipe at least. Mm, did they go up? Or did they go deep into the sewer? Maybe I can see if there's a clue up here. Well, that hole is there, so it makes things inconvenient. Oh, somebody saw away a lot of warm spirit here. Wait, you must get the side of the break in. Did I did I miss something back there? Check. Huh. I was a busy missing I didn't notice. Yeah, I guess I did. Apparently missed something. Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell, it was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. And now we follow it. Okay. And that definitely means close. There we go. Now we're making progress. Bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. <laughs> Smells like... Wyvern oil. And... <laughs> Caramel? That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Things got a bit jumbled, but on all, we've done a good job, I think. Hello. Wait there. There we go. I see ain't gotten uh, entirely cleaned up after the people were... Wow, they have so much chicken on them, these guys. Hello. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? I've done investigation. Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse. One of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonts. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Anyway, I also found part of the bomb. <laughs> okay, that Seems looked kind of funky. Bomb blew the wall open. Look. 
bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Why do we keep saying that to each other? Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. That's allowed them to somewhat blow the wall off from the inside, which is more efficient than trying to just blow the wall off from one side, due to, you know, the dispersion of force. Like, if you're trying to blow up a wall from one side, you're trying to get the entire wall to move, but if the pipe was somewhat buried in the wall, then that's less of the wall it's trying to move with the explosion. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Thank you. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Look, could you two stop really? flirting and move on? Mm, about as much as I'd miss a knife in me knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing here. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen, who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Why is that impossible? Impossible? Why? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Ah! Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! Yes, yes, I'm going, I'm going. Please, don't have a fit. He 
evil sometimes, Roche. Hey. And now it started to rain. Lovely. Graves townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Wait, what's it say? The Kingfisher in front of my ship tonight was by Priscilla the Calonator. Guaranteed to tug every house thing. If you say so. Well. Same. Okay. Well, knock knock! Well, if he's dead, then he won't need all of this. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Life requires free things for, su for sustenance, food, drink, and gossip. It's was no wonder that no matter where I travel, be it ice palm pobbers or evergreen toy sun, they won't ask me about the passions that bind Geralt of a sorcerer in a Ben Gepper. As a man of both caution and discreet, I refuse to betray the secrets, with one important exception. The history of their first encounter is so extraordinary, so romantic and moving, that it would be a veritable crime to hide its knife beneath a bushel basket. Indeed, had I not witnessed these events in person, I would never believe there was room in the grim and dark world for such fantastic marvel. It all began when Geralt and I were feeling a bit peckish and unburdened by heavy compounds and started to fish our silver out of a lake. No bites were to be had, we did not leave empty handed. My hook snagged quite a lovely little pond. After some of my friend's warnings, I opened it and I doing so freed a powerful gin. Without giving me its, its much thought, I set about putting my wishes. Before I could forget to free her, the gin irritated it, see now in hindsight that being issued a mess soon after waking, began to throttle me. Geralt was able to drive it off, but I was left in a sorry state. I acted the witch and Terminator as though under the influence of some curse. Clearly, the help of an expert in the magic can would be needed. It was a good fortune, but Jennifer of Vendeberg happened to be staying in a nearby village. Geralt would have went to her to ask that she heal his best friend, who happened to also be the brightest star in the North's poetic firmament. Jennifer, however, was more interested in the Jin, which she wanted to trap into magic servitude, than in its victim, and it should be said, played with wishing like a well strung mandolin. And rather than grow angry at being used in such a humbling manner, he felt white head over muddy boots in love with her. What happened then, well, I wonder if Jesus must have saved, but Jennifer's plans hardly delighted the Jin, and without his cooperation, she proved unable to tame him. The sorceress would have surely made a threat again, and take all of it along with her, and go not rush to her rescue. For once, he did not need to draw out of this place. To send the Jin Pang, he had to put to pronounce a third and final wish. He could ask for anything wealth, fame, power. Instead, he asked the Jin to bind his fate to that of the arrogant and intriguing sorceress from Ventimer. Julian Alfred Pankratz, Miss Black Hamilton, born 1232, award winning poet, playwright, troubadour, frequent performer at the cur course of Nied Marvismia Benslaw, many other nobles and notables, alumnus of Oxford Ford Academy. All these. The land of Velen, located in the western Temeria, which is capital of Gorse, Velen, is one of the poorest provinces in the kingdom. Its territory encompasses the island of Thanet, home to the famous Magic Academy, which, along with Gorse, Velen, constitutes the commercial and developmental mainspring of the entire province. Velen is on a stop on the Novigrad trade road running through Sidaris, Bergen, Brook, Zintra, and other such shameful realms. Villain is subsided primarily on agriculture, crafting, and animal husbandry. The province is practically deprived of all natural resources. It contains a great deal of forest, wetlands, and cultivated woods, though the greatest part of it is covered in swamps and ponds. 